Play to Potential podcast. Uh, I think uh, Roger is anyone can attest who watches him after a big victory or a big defeat with the emotions that he shows, obviously an emotional, sensitive person, hmm. um, very empathetic. And that empathy has probably a flip side for an athlete and that you're feeling everything going on and it's hard to manage all of that. So I think early on, some of the meltdowns Roger had, um, you know, tears on after junior defeats. There's a story of him at the club in Basel, old boys from another one of the early coaches saying that they would, you know, finish the tournament and, uh, all the other kids had grabbed their lunch and gone into the clubhouse to, to eat their picnic. And Roger was still underneath the umpire's chair crying, had to be gone out and fetched and sort of convinced it was okay to come back in. So, that, But what diff, what happened was I think Roger realized for him to be able to reach his potential, he had to find a way to make that final step. He'd been working on his mental game and controlling his temper for a long time, but he knew that he had to go the next step and really, really make it happen in order to be able to play his best tennis and compete with these guys who were very talented and very good and had early edges over him in their rivalry as well. You watch some of those early Leighton Hewitt, Roger Federer matches from 2001, 2000, 2002, extraordinary matchup. And hmm. Leighton got the better of him quite often in some of those matches. So I think Roger realized he had to find a way to channel all that emotion and energy inside himself. You see the occasional sort of fist pump, but generally, it's very smooth, very sedate, very self-contained. He wears a mask on court. And that's not Roger Federer. That's not who he really is deep down. He had to change, I think, his overall character and personality in the expression of his tennis in order to play his best tennis. And honestly, that's a bit rare, Deepak. I think often we think, okay, your tennis reflects your character, reflects who you really are. In Roger's case, the elegance, the movement, all that, of course, but that fiery person inside, you don't see that on the court very often.